Last night, College of the Sequoias Giants volleyball team picked up their first victory of the season, beating Antelope Valley three sets to one down in Lancaster. The two teams meet up again tonight in Visalia. Can College of the Sequoias get the sweep? We'll find out next on NorCal Sports TV. Cast of COS Athletics is brought to you by College of Sequoias Athletics. BT's Buns and Torts, located at 1530 South Mooney Boulevard and has been locally owned and operated in Visalia for 30 years. BT's is not fast food. It's great food served fast. Fiesolera Construction, a proud supporter of COS Basketball and is a third-generation builder based out of Visalia. Call Fiesolera Construction at 559-804-6612 for all of your contracting needs. DGI and Nielsen Insurance. Thinking about getting a new quote on your home or car insurance? If so, contact DGI and Nielsen Insurance at 559-594-5500 and support those who support COS. Tyson Duker. Feel right at home with Tyson Duker. Tyson Duker is a locally owned and operated financial consulting group who will help you make smart, simple decisions for your financial future. Call 559-625-4005 and start saving for your future today. Pepsi is the official soft drink of COS Athletics. Pepsi Cola, it's what I like. Welcome back here to Porter Fieldhouse in Visalia, California. I'm Jeremy Hurtado doing this broadcast remote from my home up in Sonora, California. Alongside me tonight is Levi Flores. Levi, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you, Jeremy. Tonight we're set for a great matchup, like you said. College of Sequoias won last night a 3-1 to victory over Antelope Valley, the college uh, marauders. That's their mascot for tonight. Uh, you know, COS coming in, this is their fourth game, and, uh, you know, we're set for a good one. They have three great players. We have Gia Rosadilla, Allison Garcia, and Hazel Martinez leading the Sequoias uh, like they've done the past few games. Speaking of Allison Garcia, Garcia had 13 kills in the game last night versus Antelope Valley. So big performance from her gives her 25 kills, or 35 kills rather, on the season. On the flip side, Antelope Valley College Marauders come in under head coach Mark Cruz and making his eighth season at the helm there. Last year they went 29, or in 2019 they went 10 and 11, 6 and 6, finishing third place in the Western State South Conference. They're led, by, oh, they're led by their sophomore returners, Maggie Rafferty, along with Michelle Rodriguez Carrillo and Cassandra Tejada. All returning players for Antelope Valley look to be big contributors trying to get them their first win of the season. For College of Sequoias, uh, I mentioned Hazel Martinez earlier. Uh, we saw one game with her on NorCal Sports TV when they played Bakersfield College, and she was an absolute monster on the defensive side of the net. She would uh, block. She had 10 blocks that game, and she is just leading the team also in points scored. Uh, she averages five points per set uh, on her lonesome, so we'll probably see a great game tonight from her, along with Allison Garcia. As you said, 13 kills in the game last night, so these two players are going to be huge in this matchup. You mentioned Hazel Martinez. Martinez, big player last year for Carlos Sequoia's Giants 2019 first team all Central Valley Conference, a 6-1 sophomore Opposite side hitter out of Pixley, went to Mission Oaks High School. This is her first year playing the back row. So something a little interesting there is 
she gets to serve this year where she didn't last year. So another big part of her expanding her game. Finding athletic college scholarships can be an overwhelming task for athletes. It's essential to utilize experts and former college coaches who know the ins and outs of college recruiting. At Recruiting Boost, we help prospective student athletes navigate the recruiting process from start to finish, ultimately helping them earn scholarship opportunities. We don't rely on cold emails or large databases. Instead, we have direct contact with college coaches. Contact us today. This broadcast of COS Athletics is brought to you by College of Sequoia's Athletics. BT's Buns and Torts, located at 1530 South Mooney Boulevard and has been locally owned and operated in Visalia for 30 years. BT's is not fast food, it's great food served fast. Fiesolera Construction, a proud supporter of COS Basketball and is a third generation builder based out of Visalia. Call Fiesolera Construction at 559 559- 804-6612 for all of your contracting needs. DGI and Nielsen Insurance. Thinking about getting a new quote on your home or car insurance? If so, contact DGI and Nielsen Insurance at 559-594-5500 and support those who support COS. Tyson Duker. Feel right at home with Tyson Duker. Tyson Duker is a locally owned and operated financial consulting group who will help you make smart, simple decisions for your financial future. Call 559-625-4005 and start saving for your future today. Pepsi is the official soft drink of COS Athletics. Pepsi Cola, it's what I like. If not, we can talk more about. Welcome back again, inside Porter Fieldhouse. Again, Jeremy Hurtado broadcasting live from Sonora, California, where tonight College of Sequoia's Giants, a volleyball team, again takes on the Antelope Valley College Marauders. Marauders had a chance to talk to Kim Ricks, the head coach of College of Sequoia's in her seventh season earlier this week, and just sit down and talk about how difficult it's been to get ready for this unconventional season they had and she said it's been an emotional roller coaster with so many unknowns to deal with and these girls have had to deal with practicing outside in pods couldn't even practice together and up until a couple weeks ago finally got the opportunity to do that and the girls have dealt with it so well she says these girls have had to do things on the fly learn things faster than they have before they're installing stuff that normally they take a week to practice and install they install it in a day, come back, install something else, trying to get ready for games. So it, she said it's just she's happy that they've been able to pick it up so quick and, and, and kind of learn on the fly as we go. And then lastly, she said it's just happy to be back and playing games. And Levi, you know that as much as I do. We enjoy covering basketball, volleyball, football. It's just good to have sports back again. Absolutely. Yeah, I've talked to coaches, players, all of the above, just about sports being back, and everyone is absolutely ecstatic, excited, and just overall happy that they are able to play the game, coach the game, because that, that's what their lives depend on from what some of them told me. Absolutely. So, like I said, you know, this game, just being able to play this spring season is, is, is an excitement for a lot of these players and coaches to get back to an everyday lifestyle. So it's happy to bring it to you here live on NorCal Sports TV. As we have a little bit of a delay here today, as Antelope Valley was a little late getting to the court, so we will be broadcasting as soon as we're ready to go here. Both teams warming up now. Gives us a little more chance to talk about today's game, though. On the Antelope Valley side, we, so we talked about them being led by Maggie Rafferty. She's a 5'8", sophomore, outside hitter and opposite side hitter as well. Comes into the game with 44 kills. 24 digs, 16 blocks. So big, big force up there in the front row for the Marauders. Alongside her is also 
Cassandra Tejada. She's a 5'10 sophomore, opposite side hitter, middle side blocker out of Lancaster. She has 30 kills, 20, 37 digs, and 18 blocks coming into the game today. So those two up front are going to cause problems or attempt to cause problems for the COS. Def our attackers like Hazel Martinez and Allison Garcia. We'll see how that plays out here as we go along in the game tonight. We'll be back with the start of the game after these messages on NorCal Sports TV. here live from Porter Fieldhouse. Again, I'm Jeremy Hurtado broadcasting remotely from Sonora, California, along with Levi Flores, also broadcasting remotely. Our video crew and producer, Dion I, live in Visalia. Happy to bring you tonight's action between the College of Sequoias, Giants, and the Antelope Valley College Marauders. Levi, before, during the commercial there, we were talking about the matchup we're looking for tonight between Hazel Martinez and Maggie Rafferty. Absolutely. That's going to probably be the best matchup we see between these two teams because Hazel Martinez loves to attack. Uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, she had a five, five points per set, and she also averages 4.43 kills per set as well. So most of her points come from those kills. And you were talking about Maggie Rafferty on the other side. She loves to attack, and she's... Uh, part of that front row, so we're going to see a lot of them up against each other tonight. Absolutely. Like we said, there's three three returning sophomores, and they do most of the work for Col or Antelope Valley. Again, Maggie Rafferty, number six, number 12, Michelle Rodriguez-Carrillo, and number 13, Cassandra Tejada. As you see, College of Sequoia is repping their beautiful orange color and the Libero and white. College of Sequoias last year was 20 and 8 overall, 14 and 2 under head coach Kim Ricks. Good enough for finishing second place in the Central Valley Conference and taking her team to the fifth consecutive playoff appearance where they eventually lost in the first round two of the NorCal Regionals to College of the, or to Sierra College in Rockland. Three sets to zero. Don't forget you can catch our next broadcast of College of Sequoia's volleyball on Thursday evening against Saracosa, live here on NorCal Sports TV. Next matchup for Antelope Valley College is on the 20th as they play at Cuesta. So looks like we're all set here. Officials getting in position and ready to start the matchup tonight looks like College of Sequoias will be serving first any last second thoughts to Levi as we get ready to start the game 
Well, from the looks of it, Antelope Valley 0-3. They did lose last night to COS, uh, a 3-1. But, you know, I I don't think that we should count Antelope Valley out yet. I mean, even though they did lose 3-1, to it's hard to come back from that. I think they have a lot of strong players, and they're going to give COS a run for their money. This college of Sequoia's girls giving a wave to the camera as we get set here. Once again, live from Porter Fieldhouse here in Visalia, California. Looks like Antelope Valley will be serving first here in the first set. Riano Romero getting ready to serve for the Marauders. Nice dig there by the libero for COS and a quick tip over the net. And then Nice long point here to start the matchup as it's off the blocker's hands and then a down for a COS point. And that's Allison Garcia starting off the night just as she did yesterday. Nice job of finding a hole in the blocker there and getting it down for the COS point as we get a serve into the net on unforced error there by COS gives a point back over to Antelope Valley. Nice block there by the Marauders. And it's four touches by COS, so it goes into the net. Not a block. Point goes over to Antelope Valley. A good start for Antelope Valley. We were just talking about this. Don't count them out there on a strong run to start the match. Rodrigo's Carrillo with the serve for the Marauders. Big block, but it goes four, four hits again, so it's off the top of the net and not blocked. Hard to tell there from that angle, but again, second time tonight, the kill attempt has gone into the net and come back at COS, getting the point over to the Marauders. Serve off of the defender there. And that was Garcia trying to save it before it went out of bounds, but unable to do so. Looked like if she hadn't touched it, it might have went out of bounds, but she made the decision to try and save it and then just couldn't get it to be controlled. So another point for Antelope Valley. This time, nice, nice point there by COS. And she hits the ball into the blocker, and blocker puts it into the net. On the replay here, you can see right over the top of the blocker and gets the point for Garcia. So far, the offense running through Garcia here in the first set for COS. That's Hazel Martinez, her first point of the night. Actually, that went into the net, excuse me. Victoria Gomez attempting to get it over the net but it went right into the net and off the ground again another nice ace there on the service by COS Garcia there with the ace for the Giants time to score up 4-4 early here in the first set Big kill there by Martinez after Campbell did the good work of picking up the dig for COS. And you see here the blockers are late to get up for Antelope Valley, giving Martinez a lane for the kill. 
Nice short serve there by COS. Martinez off the blocker, but able to be picked up by the Marauders. Nice dig there. Big save and the free ball over for COS. Little touch shot. Nice job there. Finessing it over and finding a spot for Antelope Valley. A good rally by both teams getting it over the net each time. I think that was four times back and forth and Antelope Valley just able to connect and finish it off. Deep serve there, and it's unable to be returned by COS. Nice job there by the Marauders. See the nice effort there by the COS to Jada English trying to save it for the Giants. Little float serve, and it's out of bounds, uh, lands out of bounds by the Giants. So another point over to COS, or Antelope Valley, rather. That was Garcia sacrificing to try to get it back over and save it, but unable to get it within the lines. Free ball over by COS. Antelope Valley attack. Shot goes long by COS. Antelope Valley up 8-5 here early in the first set. Thanks for joining us here on NorCal Sports TV. Happy to broadcast College of Sequoia Giants women's volleyball as they are unable to return it over again to their ace for Antelope Valley. As you see, it just came off of Garcia's hands just a little bit awkward, and it looked like English was on the receiving end, but that was unexpected on her side. Shank pass by Garcia last time, and then the serve goes deep and out of bounds. So service error there by Antelope Valley turns the ball back over to COS. Jada English stepping up to serve for the Giants, 5'10 sophomore. She's got two aces so far this season. Another free ball over by COS. Tip shot doesn't find the court. And then Martinez is able to kill it off the blocker. Actually, it did not go off the blocker, so... You see here, Antelope Valley with the block and the point. Just couldn't quite get it over the net. Serve, it goes out of bounds down the line. So Martinez will be stepping up to serve for the Giants. As we said earlier in the broadcast, this is her first year playing back row. So getting a chance here not only to put the ball away at the net, but also have some service error or time for the Giants. Free ball comes over by Antelope Valley. Martinez returns it over back for COS. Attack goes out of bounds deep. Point for the Giants. COS slowly inching back up, just two points away from tying it up. See the replay there, nice little quick set by Antelope Valley, but it was long, and then we get a serve ace there by Martinez, tying it up. At that time, we get a service error into the net. By Martinez, so it turns the ball back over to Antelope Valley. So far, a pretty even matchup here between these two teams. Again, last night, Antelope Valley fell to College of Sequoias 25-20, 11-25, 22-25, and 23-25. Point goes over to COS. We got a timeout on the court. 
Actually, we've got substitutions and a timeout on the court. We'll be back with more on NorCal Sports TV. We're back here 11 to 10, our score here in the first set. Antelope Valley over College of Sequoias. So far, like I said, it's been a pretty even match going back and forth here. Antelope Valley in the gray or white. Uniforms, dark numbers, while COS has their home orange jerseys on with the Navy numbers to me set for COS Martinez attack goes into the net so service goes back over to Antelope Valley couldn't quite get the ball over the net that's the third time that's happened to her tonight Serve goes out of bounds down the sideline, back over to COS. Getting ready to serve for the Giants, number two, Gia Rosadilla. 2019 All-CBC Honorable Mention Libero. Nice shot there by Antelope Valley. Martinez has been credited with three points in this set, and she's just having a little bit of a rough time on the receiving end of the ball. Nice kill there by Maggie Rafferty for Antelope Valley. Quick set this time. Doesn't go down, though, for the Giants. A little quick over that time by number 10, Skyland Goulard, and she gets the point for COS. Very well a heads-up play by Goulart, able to get it over, and unexpectedly on the other side of the net, Antelope Valley was not ready for it. Campbell, deep serve there this time for COS, played by... The Marauders. We get a nice kill on the play by number six, Allison Garcia. Garcia picking up right where she left off last night. Again, nice kill there around the blockers of the Marauders. Another deep serve there by Campbell for COS. Tip shot over. Nice dig by COS. Able to keep it up. Then Martinez puts it down for the Giants. Nice Five point there for rally COS. And Martinez once again strikes again. Absolutely nice, sir. Nice point there for COS. Keeping things up off the floor and then able to put it down. But that serve goes out of bounds. Turning it back over to the Marauders. Antelope Valley keeping it close in the first set, and they do not want a repeat of last night. Rodriguez Carrillo set to serve for the Marauders. 
Nice swing there by COS. Puts the point down again through the blocking attempts of Marauders. Blockers get there Martinez. a little late. Garcia ready for serve for COS. Tip attempt by COS, but picked up by the Marauders. But not able to pick that one up as Martinez puts it down a deep shot there by Martinez off the kill. Getting comfortable once again. She struggled a little bit within the first few points, unable to get it over the net, but now she's responsible for six of the 16 points for COS. Out of rotation call against COA or uh, no, Antelope Valley, rather, gives another point over to COS. COS taking the biggest lead of the night so far in set one. Dig attempt on the serve Come, goes into the net, unable to be returned by. The Marauders, as we see here on the replay, and we have a timeout on the court. We'll be back with more right here on NorCal Sports TV. Cast of COS Athletics is brought to you by College of Sequoias Athletics. BT's Buns and Torts, located at 1530 South Mooney Boulevard and has been locally owned and operated in Visalia for 30 years. BT's is not fast food. It's great food served fast. Fistolera Construction, a proud supporter of COS Basketball and is a third-generation builder based out of Visalia. Call Fistolera Construction at 559-804-6612 for all of your contracting needs. Emmerich's talking to her team in the huddle there for COS. Big comeback here for COS. It was tied 11-11. COS scored seven points of the last 11, taking the four-point lead for the Giants. Levi, your thoughts so far here on the first set? I think Antelope Valley came in strong and they took a lead, although COS has slowly brought it back, like you mentioned, getting seven out of the last 11. Both teams are still very strong in this match, and I don't count anyone out yet. I think both teams still have an amazing chance at winning this match. Garcia... Ready to serve for COS. Deep serve picked up by the libero for Antelope Valley. Little confusion there as they don't get the ball back over the net. The set went wide, was unable to be attacked by Antelope Valley. Another nice deep serve there by COS. That time the attack goes down for Victoria Gomez. Gomez, 5'9", freshman, opposite side hitter out of Rosemond. Able to put the ball down for the Marauders, getting the serve back for them and a point. Big shot there by COS, unable to be dug out. Gets the point back over to the Giants. You see the power on this shot, getting it over, and she actually hit it while she was on her way down and able to get it all the way to the back and off the arms of an Antelope Valley player. Nice shot there by Goulart for COS. Nice block up the net. Back and back, forth we go over the net, and then the shot goes wide by Antelope Valley. Pinion able to put it down and off of the Antelope Valley defender for the Giants, giving them a 21 to 15 lead here in set number one. English ready to serve for COS. Little floater. 
Nice dig there by English, keeping it alive for COS. Gomez able to put it away for the Marauders after a long rally here you see on the replay. She goes around the blockers and Goulart was unable to dig it out for COS. So the Marauders are five points behind and College of Sequoias are four points away of winning set one. Uh, Antelope Valley could get a little momentum here and hopefully bring it back to a tie match before COS takes it. Another big kill there by Gomez. Gives Antelope Valley another point. We see here on the replay. Blockers late to get up there again for COS. Ball into the net. Little shank on the pass. Goes over to COS. And Aaron Zazu laying out, trying to save it, but unable to, giving COS another point. Martinez serving for COS, three points away from a first set victory. Nice dig there by the libero, Rosadillo. Lift called by Antelope Valley there on the play. So the point comes over to COS. You see the replay here. Abigail Billingsley with the point for COS. Nice sliding dig there by the Giants. The block shot was blocked by number 16, Bingao, for the Marauders. It's Abigail Billingsley shot. Not quite sure. Couldn't tell if it was blocked or if it just hit the top of the net and came back. Either way, point goes over to the Marauders who serve it out of bounds. And now we have a set point coming up for COS. And the Giants did go on a run earlier in the match. Uh, they had seven of those 11 points earlier, and so I think Antelope Valley still has a chance of winning set one. Toomey here with the chance to close out the set for COS. That line shot goes out of bounds for COS, so gives a point over to Antelope Valley. A great way to keep the Giants on their toes keep getting points even though the Giants are only one away. Set point number two here. For COS and we get a double hit on COS. So another point for Antelope Valley cuts it up down to a four-point lead. Nice job here by Antelope Valley of sticking with it and staying competitive here, trying to keep COS from winning set number one. Quick set, none of successful as Garcia not able to put it down for the Giants. See here Goulart with the quick set two. Garcia, but another point for Antelope Valley. Just like you called, that's four, four hits on COS and Antelope Valley make a little run here trying to stay in set number one as the set was just a little too close to the net, came off the net and back at Garcia. What I'm nervous about mostly is Antelope Valley serving. It's very easy to mess it up, just a little bit, slight offhand, and, you know, the serve is off and a point to COS. So. And there it is, quick tip attempt by COS Falls. 
And there you have it. First set, 25-22 goes to College Sequoias. We'll be back with the second set live on NorCal Sports TV. Finding athletic college scholarships can be an overwhelming task for athletes. It's essential to utilize experts and former college coaches who know the ins and outs of college recruiting. At Recruiting Boost, we help prospective student athletes navigate the recruiting process from start to finish, ultimately helping them earn scholarship opportunities. We don't rely on cold emails or large databases. Instead, we have direct contact with college coaches. Contact us today. This broadcast of COS Athletics is brought to you by College of Sequoias Athletics. BT's Buns and Torts, located at 1530 South Mooney Boulevard and has been locally owned and operated in Visalia for 30 years. BT's is not fast food. It's great food served fast. Feastal Era Construction, a proud supporter of COS Basketball and is a third-generation builder based out of Visalia. Call Feastal Era Construction at 559 559- 804-6612 for all of your contracting needs. DGI and Nielsen Insurance. Thinking about getting a new quote on your home or car insurance? If so, contact DGI and Nielsen Insurance at 559-594-5500 and support those who support COS. Tyson Duker. Feel right at home with Tyson Duker. Tyson Duker is a locally owned and operated financial consulting group who will help you make smart, simple decisions for your financial future. Call 559-625-4005 and start saving for your future today. Pepsi is the official soft drink of COS Athletics. Pepsi Cola, it's what I like. First set goes to COS by a score of 25-22. Both coaches talking over with their team as we get getting ready to start the second set. Again, Jeremy Rotato broadcasting live from Sonora, California, along with Levi Flores, also remote broadcasting. We have Dion, I, and our crew at COS live filming for us so we could broadcast this game here for to you remote for you remotely. Levi, what are your thoughts about the first set there as we get ready for the second set? Well, it was a scary moment for the Giants fans as Antelope Valley came back very close to winning the set. As you see, COS barely won 25-22 to the first set. Uh, I believe COS was at 24 and Antelope Valley was at 17 or 16. And they came all the way back up, although a little miscommunication on the court, which led to COS winning the first set. Uh, a few strengths that COS has so far. Hazel Martinez, she uh, accomplished six of the points for the Giants. Uh, Skyland Goulart had two, and Allison Garcia, who had 13 kills last night, has uh, four points in the first set. And for Antelope Valley, we have Victoria Gomez, number eight, who came up strong in that run at the end with uh, three of those points. And then Michelle Rodriguez Carrillo, Cassandra Tejada, and Alora Bengal. Uh, all three of those or four of those players for Antelope Valley are really strong. So first set, really amazing. I'm looking forward to what we see in the second, third, and possibly even more. Looks like Kaya Campbell getting ready to serve here to start the second set for COS. Campbell, a returner, 5'6", sophomore. Had 11 kills and 77 digs last year. A 311 assist out of her setting position last year in 34 service aces. So pretty much a well-rounded player there for Campbell. First return goes wide by Antelope Valley, giving COS the point here. Nice deep serve there by Campbell. Attack goes into the net for Antelope Valley. 
So quick 2-0 lead here for COS. And the first set started the absolute opposite way. Antelope Valley had the lead starting it off, but now COS back on their high horse. Deep serve goes just out of bounds, so turnover goes to Antelope Valley. Rodriguez Carrillo set for serve for CO or the Marauders rather. Quick tip over by Martinez doesn't fall, and then we got a touch of the net by COS gives the point to Antelope Valley, and we're tied two two here as we see the replay. Yeah, and she knew it right away. Big block there by Antelope Valley. And then the shot goes into the net, creating a four-touch situation for COS. You see here. Martinez's shot doesn't get over the net, just comes back at her. So three straight points here for Antelope Valley. Big deep serve off of the, the COS player Garcia and goes out of bounds. So a big run, four points in a row here for Short serve this time, picked up by COS Rosadillo. Giants able to get it back over the net, and then the kill shot goes wide and deep for Antelope Valley to turn the ball back over to COS. Antelope Valley did have the momentum of four points, getting a little risky, trying to go for the back line, thinking COS wouldn't go for it. Got a timeout here on the court. We'll be back with more COS Basketball Live on NorCal Sports TV. Four three our score here, Antelope Valley over COS in set number two. As the Marauders ran off four straight points there on their first serve of the match. COS got the first two points, then Antelope Valley came back with four. Volleyball very similar to basketball. Uh, it's a game of runs. Now we have an officials discussion going on and so while that's going on we can talk about the matchup that we were looking to see here tonight with between Martinez and the defenders of the Marauders mainly led by Rafferty so far seems like it's been kind of even Martinez has had he said six points scored in the first set but she's also hit a few shots that have caught into the net or blocked by the Marauders. Absolutely. In the first game we saw her against Bakersfield, she was absolutely dominating 
uh, on her side of the net, getting it over each and every single time. Although this time it seems about half of her shots are going over. So uh, I'm not sure if it's a little bit of fatigue being the fourth game or, uh, you know, second game in two days. But, you know, still doing what she does on her side of the net. But at the same time, just, you know, a little bit of mess ups here and there. Allison Garcia, we talked about her earlier. She had 13 points last, or 13 kills last night in the game against Anlo Valley tonight. She's picked up right where she left off, Levi. Absolutely. She was responsible for four of the points in the first set and uh, one of them so far in the second set. So I'm excited to see what she does in the next few. Looks like we're about to get back underway here. I'm not quite sure what the delay was. Again, we're remote broadcasting, so sometimes it's hard for us to pick up everything that's going on on the court. So we apologize for that. But nonetheless, we're back underway here with COS serving. Nice job there by Hanover Valley to go out and get the ball. And then free ball goes over the net back to the Marauders. Allison Hubanks looks like put that birthday ball away for the Marauders as the pass was just a little too close to the net and Tegan Darty couldn't handle it for COS. Deep serve by the Marauders picked up by COS. Martinez shot doesn't go. It looks like it might have been blocked by. Actually, no, it's going to be back into the net and back at him. So four touch called on COS as the shot just rolled along the top of the net there and came back at COS. And you could see it's just barely enough where the ball doesn't go over. This time a little punch over the net. Giving the free ball over to the Marauders. Big save there by Rosadilla then a diving attempt by Rosadilla doesn't get picked up Knight's attempt though as the ball goes under the net by the libero for the Giants a beautiful strike by the Marauders that would have been in even if uh, number two Gia Rosadilla wasn't there to get it nice job there by COS to hit the ball into the block a soft block there that time by Antelope Valley. Gives a point over to COS. Rosadillo set the serve. She had five service aces last year for COS. Her short serve attempt goes into the net, doesn't get over the net. So we get a turnover back to the Marauders. We got a little substitution for Antelope Valley. Looks like Allison Hubanks taking a break for the Marauders. Nice little back handed shot there by COS. Goes off of the fender and to the ground. So we see number five, Kaya Campbell, with the shot for COS. And she knew exactly where to put it. There is no marauder in that part of the court, and she put it right there where it needed to go. Four hits this time called again by on, on Antelope Valley as the shot goes back into the net. We've seen that about six times now here where the the attacking shots just hit the top of the net and come right back at the offensive side. Free ball over the net for COS goes wide, giving the point to Antelope Valley. A 9-6 lead for the Marauders yesterday when these two, two, two teams played, excuse me, the Marauders did win the second set, 25-11, uh, to 11, a huge lead for the Marauders. Let's see if they can do it again. Big pickup that time by the Marauders. 
Back row attack. Big dig there by Rosadillo. Another free ball over by Antelope Valley. Set and kill attempt doesn't go for COS. And we get four hits called on, or double hit called on Antelope Valley, rather, giving the point back over to the Giants. Blair Toomey ready to serve for COS. Big shot there by COS. As we see the replay. Garcia getting another kill for the Giants. Nice set there by Gallart for COS. Big dig that time by COS. Garcia's shot picked up by the Marauders. Free ball over. And then Gallart puts it away for COS with the left-handed shot. Once again, Gullart with the one hand over the net. He could see it, just putting it right where it needs to be out of the reach of the Marauders. All tied up at nine here in the second set. Give me short serve. Falls for an ace at the feet of the Marauders defender. Nice job there that time. Good touch by Tume. Getting a little sloppy. Right in front. Had to just get down a little bit more. But, you know, after Antelope Valley had a three, four point lead, COS took it once again. Nice one handed pickup there by Rosadillo. Now back attack by Martinez. Doesn't go. Gallart with the set. Nice little tip. Big dig by Antelope Valley. That time the cut shot goes. Down for number four, Tume. Actually, sorry, that was Garcia with the cut shot. Getting the point for COS. And we have a timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. We'll be back with more COS basketball or volleyball live on NorCal Sports TV. The cast of COS Athletics is brought to you by College of Sequoias Athletics, BT's Buns and Torts, located at 1530 South Mooney Boulevard and has been locally owned and operated in Visalia for 30 years. BT's is not fast food. It's great food served fast. Feastal Era Construction, a proud supporter of COS basketball and is a third generation builder based out of Visalia. Call Feastal Era Construction at 559 559- 804-6612 for all of your contracting needs. DGI and Nielsen Insurance. Thinking about getting a new quote on your home or car insurance? If so, contact DGI and Nielsen Insurance at 559-594-5500 and support those who support COS. Tyson Duker. Feel right at home with Tyson Duker. Tyson Duker is a locally owned and operated financial consulting group who will help you make smart, simple decisions for your financial future. Call 559-625-4005 and start saving for your future today. Pepsi is the official soft drink of COS Athletics. Pepsi Cola, it's what I like. Back to live action here as Tume gets ready to serve once again for COS. Three straight points scored by COS, and then we get a serve and an out-of-rotation call on Antelope Valley. They've just had a few mistakes with calls like this where, you know, it, it wasn't quite their uh, the, the game itself, but it was more of what they were doing that kind of messed up and gave COS a few points. You may waiting for the officials to say we're good to serve, and here it is. Serve return goes out of bounds again by Antelope Valley. So, Tume doing 
Good work here from the service line for COS. Deep body serve that time by Tumay, picked up by Antelope Bally. Millard sets it over, and we get a quick tip. That time goes down by COS. And it was Garcia again with the point for the Giants. Just over the outstretched hands of Rafferty and just over getting the point for COS. Double hit called by against the Marauders. So things kind of slowly slipping away here for the Marauders as COS now up by six. Tume with the short floater serve picked up by Antelope Valley. And then the attempt again gets called for a double hit. So back to back points, double hit called on Antelope Valley. Nice block there by COS on the quick tip over attempt by Rafferty. Once again, that was Allison Garcia with the block. And that's an eight-point lead for COS just a moment ago. They were only up by three when it was the rotation penalty on the Antelope Valley. Gillard with the set. This time free ball over four. COS, and then the attack goes out of bounds just wide for Antelope Valley, and now it's a nine-point lead, largest lead of the set for COS. Too many short float serve again this time. Not a problem for Antelope Valley. Big pickup there by COS. Line shot falls for COS. We got another timeout called by Antelope Valley to try and stop the run. We'll take it with them. COS Volleyball up by 10. We'll be back on NorCal Sports TV. Athletic college scholarships can be an overwhelming task for athletes. It's essential to utilize experts and former college coaches who know the ins and outs of college recruiting. At Recruiting Boost, we help prospective student athletes navigate the recruiting process from start to finish, ultimately helping them earn scholarship opportunities. We don't rely on cold emails or large databases. Instead, we have direct contact with college coaches. Contact us today. Welcome back here. Two may again get set to serve for COS. A moment ago, it was a 9-8 lead for Antelope Valley. Since then, all COS, Levi. Absolutely. COS has been on a strong run, and it's not just their gameplay, but it's also the mistakes Antelope Valley has been making. There's been a few four hits and a, uh, the rotation penalty, and overall, it's not just COS's gameplay. It's the mistakes from Antelope Valley. Nice ace there by Tume. Now she goes float serve this time. Antelope Valley picks it up. Shot is blocked. And we got a four hit call on Antelope Valley. It's a two hit call, double hit call rather, by Antelope Valley. So 21-9, Tume still serving for COS. Shot goes out of bounds again by Antelope Valley. Just a little bit too strong aiming for that back line. It looked like it was in from my perspective, but it was ultimately way over the line. Tume still serving here for COS. 
kill is finally goes down for Antelope Valley. Carrillo, Rodriguez Carrillo able to hit it into the block of the Giants and into the net, giving Antelope Valley back the serve 22-10 as Tiffany Romano set the serve for Antelope Valley. Garcia with the kill for the Giants. And she's feeling it, having a huge night here for COS. This is absolutely beautiful. Watch the ball placement just under the hands of the Marauder and above the knees. Absolutely incredible ball placement. Gia Rosadilla set number two for COS and Pinion. And there it is, game, or set point, rather, for COS, 25-10. College of Sequoias has a two-set nothing lead here as you see the replay of the diving attempt by Antelope Valley to keep the ball in play, but it goes avail as it's two sets none lead here on COS Volleyball on NorCal Sports TV. Athletic college scholarships can be an overwhelming task for athletes. It's essential to utilize experts and former college coaches who know the ins and outs of college recruiting. At Recruiting Boost, we help prospective student athletes navigate the recruiting process from start to finish, ultimately helping them earn scholarship opportunities. We don't rely on cold emails or large databases. Instead, we have direct contact with college coaches. Contact us today. This broadcast of COS Athletics is brought to you by College of Sequoias Athletics, BT's Buns and Torts, located at 1530 South Mooney Boulevard and has been locally owned and operated in Visalia for 30 years. BT's is not fast food. It's great food served fast. Fiesta Construction, a proud supporter of COS basketball and is a third-generation builder based out of Visalia. Call Fiesta Construction at 559 559- 804-6612 for all of your contracting needs. DGI and Nielsen Insurance. Thinking about getting a new quote on your home or car insurance? If so, contact DGI and Nielsen Insurance at 559-594-5500 and support those who support COS. Tyson Duker. Feel right at home with Tyson Duker. Tyson Duker is a locally owned and operated financial consulting group who will help you make smart, simple decisions for your financial future. Call 559-625-4005 and start saving for your future today. Pepsi is the official soft drink of COS Athletics. Pepsi Cola, it's what I like. days because I was smart. It's because I was a teacher's pet. We're back here live from Porter Fieldhouse. COS has a two set to none lead over Antelope Valley and Levi. COS closing it out that second set in a big way. Yeah, absolutely. A 17 to 1 run by the College of Sequoias ended up being 25 to 10. An absolute amazing set because Antelope Valley, they started off the set really strong. They went four points to COS's three, but COS wasn't even in the game for a few of them. And we get ready to start the third set here. Again, these two teams met last night with COS coming away with a three sets to one victory down in Lancaster. Second night of a home-and-home -home series for COS. Again, they take on Saracosa at Porter Fieldhouse next Thursday evening you can catch that action live here on norcal sports tv for antelope valley they go and are on the road on the 20th at cuesta for their next game 
Looking at the first two sets, COS takes the 2-0 advantage. Although we know the Marauders have it in them to beat College of Sequoias. They did it once yesterday to a 25-11 set match, although they did end up losing to that 3-1 in the end. So, Levi, what do you expect to see here in the third set for Antelope Valley as far as trying to get back on pace with the Giants? The Marauders just need to get rid of the unnecessary penalties, the double hits, the four hits, and there was the one rotation penalty in the last set as well. If they get rid of those, the game would have been a lot closer and they would have had a lot better chance. So eliminate those penalties, and other than that, their gameplay has been great. We start the second set here, or third set rather, here. Nice pickup by the Lobero Romano for Antelope Bali, but the shot goes into the net by Gomez. First point goes to COS. Campbell ready to serve for the Giants. Nice deep shot there by Antelope Valley, picked up by COS. Again, Rosadillo able to save it for COS, and then Martinez puts it away for the Giants, give him a 2 0 lead. See the backward set. Martinez just barely getting it inside for the point. Attack by Van Hubanks goes into the net. Quick 3 0 lead here for COS. Tegan Darty and Hazel Martinez in. There with the block attempt on the last shot for Antelope Valley. This replay there of the service ace by COS Campbell. Still serving for the Giants. And then she gets another serve ace there as she gets it right in a deep serve back part of the net or court rather. Nice shot there. By Campbell. A little bit of miscommunication on the Marauder side. Usually you get rid of that in the first set, although still having just a little bit of trouble. That return unable to be made by the Marauders here and COS racing out to a 6 0 lead here in set number three. Campbell that time serves into the net for a service error, returning it all over to Antelope Valley. Six one, our score. COS up two sets to none. Here, live from Porter Fieldhouse, as Rodriguez Carrillo gets ready to serve for the Marauders. Martinez's shot goes long. <laughs> Turn the ball, or giving the point over to Antelope Valley. Tip shot saved by Rosadillo. Now cut shot attempt by Martinez. Hits the net and comes back at on point four and Hope Valley. So they've answered back with three straight points of their own. We see Martinez here just unable to get it over the net once again. Having a lot of trouble tonight with that play. Little tip shot. Off the hands, out of bounds. Last touch by Antelope Valley, so point four COS. As you see, Martinez there with the shot and the point for the Giants. Garcia getting set to serve for COS. Nice. Shot, kill shot there by number six, Maggie Rafferty for Antelope Valley. Yeah. 
big, big pickup there by Anlo Bally. And then a nice little finesse shot by COS gets the point scored, making it 8-4 COS. You see Martinez faking the kill, coming back down and just barely tipping it over, getting the Marauders off their feet and putting it into an open spot for the point. Errant set. Then the shot goes wide by Anlo Valley. Gives the point over to COS. And that's Tegan Darty serving for the Giants. Her serve goes off the net, but is able to be played by Antelope Valley. And then reset for Antelope Valley. Puts it down and the kill for Alyssa Hubanks. Nice job of staying with it by the Marauders that time as it gets just through the block attempt of the Giants. The Marauders slowly coming back up in this third set. Usually what happens, uh, according to the first two sets, the person who does, or the team that doesn't get up, then actually ends up winning the set. Replay here of Knight's block by the Marauders, Alora Bengale. Big diving attempt to save it. Doesn't go for Antelope Valley. Off the kill shot by Martinez. Little tip hat, our tip shot goes into the net. Turnover, four hits all by Antelope Valley. Martinez getting set to serve again for COS. You see on the replay there, just didn't quite make it over the net. Nice point there for COS. Kenyon Pinon. With a little sh cut shot down into the middle of the court for COS, giving the Giants a 12-6 lead. We'll be back with more COS Volleyball on NorCal Sports TV. Finding athletic college scholarships can be an overwhelming task for athletes. It's essential to utilize experts and former college coaches who know the ins and outs of college recruiting. At Recruiting Boost, we help prospective student athletes navigate the recruiting process from start to finish, ultimately helping them earn scholarship opportunities. We don't rely on cold emails or large databases. Instead, we have direct contact with college coaches. Contact us today. This broadcast of COS Athletics is brought to you by College of Sequoias Athletics. BT's Buns and Torts, located at 1530 South Mooney Boulevard and has been locally owned and operated in Visalia for 30 years. BT's is not fast food. It's great food served fast. Fiesolera Construction, a proud supporter of COS basketball and is a third-generation builder based out of Visalia. Call Fiesolera Construction at 559-804-6612 for all of your contracting needs. We're back here with Martinez getting set to serve for COS. College Square is up 12-6 and has a two-set to the love lead over the visiting Antelope Valley Marauders. Free ball comes over to Antelope Valley. Big attacking shot comes up, picked up by COS. Big pick up there by Anlo Valley Libero, Tiffany Romano. And then a, a sprawling attempt by COS, but the ball hits the court. Nice try there by COS, but the point goes to Anlo Valley. A great rally. The Libero sticking her foot out, unable to get COS another point. But Antelope Valley 
may come back from this. 12-7. Little quick set for COS. Antelope Valley able to pick it up. Dump set by number 10, Skyler Gillard. Falls. Nice little setter dump shot there by Gillard. Gives point back to COS. Attacking shot goes deep this time by Rodriguez Carrillo on Antelope Valley. Short serve attempt goes into the net. Turn the ball back over to the Marauders. Where Tiffany Romano will serve for Antelope Valley 5-4 sophomore. Libero. Back set for Martinez. Big pickup by Antelope Valley. This time block was made, but it fell on the side of Antelope Valley, so point goes to COS. A beautiful block attempt, although there is no one behind him to save it. Cassandra Tejada, one of the blockers there for Antelope Valley. Nice cut shot that time by Michelle Rodriguez Carrillo. Gets the point for Antelope Valley as we see the replay here. Riano Romero set to serve for Antelope Valley. COS with the point. Little finesse shot by Darty. It is very, very crucial on those plays where the ball is kind of mixed up between players to get the ball up where another player could possibly set it up for anyone else, but that time it just bounced and juggled in between a few players. Big block. Not time by COS. Hubanks went up, tried the attack, and we got the block by Tegan for COS. Finesse shot goes for number 20, Romero, for Antelope Valley. Nice job there. Find the hole and just tipping it up and over the block attempt by COS. Deep serve that time picked up by COS, but they're unable to get it back over the net. COS did have an eight-point lead in this set, although Antelope Valley has brought it slowly back to four. Rodriguez Carrillo serving again for the Marauders. Kill attempt. It doesn't go for Garcia. Her attacking shot goes into the net. Rafferty and Tejada there on the block setup for Antelope Valley. Free ball back over the net for COS. Kill Ooh. shot goes down the line. Nice job there by number six, Garcia. Absolutely incredible, putting the ball where no one is. Rewards Garcia with her service. 
here for the Giants. That shot goes off the top, top of the net but stays in play. And then eventually falls. Lack of communication for Antelope Valley. Two girls backed away and the ball fell to the ground here as you see on the replay. COS picks up the point. Inching closer to that third set victory. Free ball back over by Antelope Valley. COS finesse shot doesn't go big pickup there by COS and now another little touch shot almost and it looks like it was touching the net by Antelope Valley so COS picks up the point again number 13 it looks like that time Tahada got a little too close to the net Got a substitution here for COS coming out is Garcia coming in is number 15, Katie Hayworth, 5'7", sophomore from Visalia by way of Monterey Bay Academy, a prep school. This time, a nice shot there by number six, Maggie Rafferty, to put the ball away for the Marauders. This is the time for Antelope Valley. They have to strike here and they have to strike hard. Tejada with the serve for the Marauders. A nice job of hitting the ball through the block by COS. Looks like that was number 17, Billingsley. As we see the replay, it was Billingsley giving it over and through the blockers of Antelope Valley. Double hit called by COS gives the point over to Anla Bali. Back corner served by the Marauders, picked up by COS. Nice block there by COS. Gets the point to the Giants. You see the replay there. Looks like it was Martinez as well as Pinon there for the Giants. Yeah, you got to get those hands up. Now COS is only four points away. Ellie Applegate coming in. 5'8 freshman setter from Visalia. Went to Mount Whitney High School. Getting a chance here to serve for in the third set for the Giants. Shot goes through blockers and out of bounds. Another point for COS. So we see the attempt by the libero Romano to get there, but was unavailable, unable to. And now we have a timeout on the court. We'll take it with them here watching College of Sequoia's Volleyball on NorCal Sports TV. This broadcast of COS Athletics is brought to you by BT's Buns and Torts, Fistolera Construction, DGI and Nielsen Insurance, Tyson Duker, Pepsi, the NCS TV Summer Basketball Camp, Recruiting Boost, Meeting Rooms on Demand, Fresno, Straight Sports. Head coach Kim Ricks breaks the huddle with her calls the Sequoia Giants looking to make it two in a row here over Antelope Valley College because they have a 22 to 15 lead here in the third set with the two games of none or two sets of none lead over the visiting Antelope Valley College Marauders out of Lancaster. Ellie Applegate still serving here for College of the Sequoias with a chance to close out set number three.
back row attack goes long by the Marauders. Nice decision there by COS to let it go and see if it would go long, which it did. Good serve by COS. Nice one-handed pickup there by the libero Romano for Hanlo Valley. And then a free ball comes over to COS. Quick set by Gillard. Nice effort there, and Hustle keeps the play alive for COS. Big block there by COS. Gets it back to the Antelope Valley, and then the shot goes long. So great hustle and <laughs> rewarded. They earned the point for COS there. Absolutely. Both teams able to keep it alive for as long as they can, and the shot just goes a little wide. Now, match point here, number one for COS. Quick set. Picked up by COS. Ballard with the set. Spock. And the shot goes into the net. So Amlo Valley picks up the point as Billingsley's shot doesn't get over the net. COS does have a little bit of room for error. Match point put away there by Gillard. Nice little one-handed shot by her, as we see here on the replay with the left-handed shot. Putting it down, finding some room, and making the score 25-16 here in set number three. We'll be back with more after these matches on NorCal Sports TV. The cast of COS Athletics is brought to you by College of Sequoias Athletics, BT's Buns and Torts, located at 1530 South Mooney Boulevard and has been locally owned and operated in Visalia for 30 years. BT's is not fast food, it's great food served fast. Fistolera Construction, a proud supporter of COS basketball and is a third generation builder based out of Visalia. Call Fistolera Construction at 559 559- 804-6612 for all of your contracting needs. DGI and Nielsen Insurance. Thinking about getting a new quote on your home or car insurance? If so, contact DGI and Nielsen Insurance at 559-594-5500 and support those who support COS. Tyson Duker. Feel right at home with Tyson Duker. Tyson Duker is a locally owned and operated financial consulting group who will help you make smart, simple decisions for your financial future. Call 559-625-4005 and start saving for your future today. Pepsi is the official soft drink of COS Athletics. Pepsi Cola, it's what I like. Welcome back here to Porter Fieldhouse again. COS victorious over Antelope Valley. Here, three sets to none. Levi, let's talk about some of the stuff we saw here in the game today. First, on the COS side. For COS, the two main players, like we talked about in pregame, Hazel Martinez, number 12, and number 6, Allison Garcia. Although we did see a little bit of mess ups from Martinez trying to get the ball over the net, she eventually got her gears together and put it over and... She got the, uh, most of the points for COS and Garcia as well. 13 kills last night and just about that for tonight as well. Another person on COS side that I felt deserves some mention is Skylin Gillard, a setter for COS. Doing a great job there setting both up, both those girls up for the kills, Garcia and Martinez. I thought Gillard had a good game. She, again, nice sets. Also, a couple times, three or four times a night we saw her left-handed shot go down and get points for the Giants. So that'll do it here again. Once again, 25, 22, 25, 10, 25, 16. COS wins it in straight sets. Our next broadcast of COS basketball will be on Thursday night versus Saracosa. 
live here from Porter Fieldhouse. Until next time, I'm Jeremy Rotato along with Levi Flores. Good night, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on NorCal Sports TV.